Let's compare Trump rally to a Kamala Harris rally. Take a look at this. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody, and a very big hello to New York and a place called Long Island, which I know very well. And I'm thrilled to be back in the state I love with thousands of proud, patriotic New Yorkers who are really the heart and soul of America. We know that. And the reason I'm here is because it hasn't been done in many decades. It hasn't been done for a And here's Camilla. Union shop, don't forget. And he attacked the UAW. President Trump. My thanks to the U.S. Secret Service. Who was there that day and to all of the sheriffs and law enforcement down in Florida, the heroes who helped to apprehend the attacker. And by the way, you possibly heard the story. So the secret agent, service agent, pulled out the gun and started shooting. He said, a barrel, he didn't talk like a lot of people. Kamala. We will not be fooled. We will not be gaslighted. Donald Trump's trap. And President Trump. And that's the first time in many, many years that a Republican can honestly say it. And we're going to do it. We have to do it. We do it. And the election nationwide is over. We take over the White House and we fix up our country. OK, we fix up our country. There's no difference in energy. I mean, no, no, no difference. She's just as popular. Come on now. Don't believe the polls. She's either they are either making believe that she's popular, obviously, to, because they're gonna steal it, and then they can say, oh, look, she was popular, she was even in the polls. Or President Trump's gonna win, and we are gonna celebrate, and we're gonna pop the champagne, and we're gonna be like, yeah, baby, woohoo! America's saved. So, either Kamala's gonna steal it, because there ain't no way she can win it, there just ain't no way she can win it, fairly, or we're gonna be celebrating President Trump's win. What do you think? Are they setting it up to steal it? My concern is they are. Let's hope my concerns are unfounded. There's also one more point I wanna make. And look at this. I'm an art director, so I look at everything with a very critical eye visually. They are ghosting out the background of her. They're putting a filter on it. You guys have seen it before with like Zoom calls and everything, but they do not want you to see the faces of the people right behind her. Look carefully at the image and see how you can see her crisply and everybody else is kinda out of focus. It's all smoke and mirrors, guys. Nothing is real about Kamala Harris. Nothing.